Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to show you how to add a custom icon or image on hover below your inline navigation in the pro theme. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and navigate to our navigation inline element that we have in our header and we're going to go ahead and inspect that by clicking on the magnifying glass. We're going to go ahead and navigate to the top link section from there, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the interactions. From here, all the way in the interactions, we're going to make sure that we have primary turned to one. Now, the particle setup, it's going to determine if you want the image at the top or the bottom. Um, I have mine set at the bottom, but if you have it set at the top, then you'll be able to see it at the top as well. And there's some adjusting that you could do just to make sure it's good to go, but for the most part, everything's going to be the same. So I have my set at the bottom, okay, and it's going to be replaced on the inside. If you choose overlap, it's going to be too far down. So we're going to head set the scale and delay to none because I don't want it to have any delay or anything like that. And I'm going to have it start from the center just because that's just the default of what it should be. The width and height is going to be based on the size of the actual image that you're uploading, okay? So from there, if I show you what it actually looks like, this is what the actual image looks like. It's a huge image. Um, so basically, I have it set so that the width is 16 pixels and the height is 30 pixels. Don't set a radius, and this color does not matter. Um, in fact, we could just go ahead and turn that off. Um, so the inline CSS, this is where everything works out. This is basically the same that you're going to be using as if you were using uh, styling in your custom CSS. It's just, uh, let's go ahead and show this in two different forms. The background URL is going to be the link to the image. We want the background size to be contained because if it is anything different, then it's not going to look correct. So this is cover. So that doesn't look correct. So we're going to go ahead and keep it as contained. That means it's going to contain the entire image within the 16 by 30 pixels. The background repeat, since we do not want it to repeat, we're going to go ahead and keep it as no repeat. And then I have a margin bottom of zero. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.